Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. As you can see, I am in the forest. I am in the thickest part of the bush and I am in the Great White North. I'm actually four hours away from my home. And so I live in the most southern part of Canada. There's actually quite a few states that are north of where I live. And all of the boat launches where I live are frozen, but the actual lake is not frozen. So we cannot go out in the boat right now, uh, which means we wanted to get out on the ice. And we went on the Ontario Ministry of Natural Resources website. And a cool part of the site shows maps of all the stocked lakes that they stock across Ontario. And so they stock these lakes with anything from walleye to different species of trout. And we decided that we would go to one of these stocked lakes. So today we are here and we are fishing a lake that was stocked last year, I believe, and this year with rainbow trout. I got Clara with me today. I got dad behind the camera. We have no idea what we're doing, uh, but we're, we'll see what we can hook into. Let's get going. Get your engines ready! <laughs> <laughs> my truck is bigger, see? Yeah, but my truck is better. <laughs> You have to watch the minnows, okay? No, you can watch them. You'll be behind me anyway. <laughs> oh, here comes the hill. I might have to switch to four-wheel drive. <laughs> four-wheel drive? <laughs> oh. 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 This is a lot of work. Oh, oh, I'm out of breath and out of shape. Oh no, the minnows. Get him! my fault. They're okay. Here, do you need help? There you go. Where's my picker? Seeing how many inches there is. It's pretty deep. Pretty thick. Watch out, Claire, Claire, I got it, Claire, I got it. Well, that was difficult, wasn't it, Clara? Walking through the bush. I am sweating and we have not even set up the hut yet. Uh, I got my spud out. I checked the ice before we came on. You should always be cautious, especially when you are going on a lake that you've never fished before. I got my Strike Master Alley suit on. Good thing about this is if you fall in the water, it will keep you afloat for quite a long time so this way I am safe and protected. I came out here before anyone else. Uh, we're gonna start drilling some holes near the shore and then work our way out towards the middle of the lake. Woo! The ice is thick. Okay, so it's about five feet here, seven feet, nine feet. Yeah. So I'm gonna guess it's about 15 feet here. This one's 15.3, I was right, Clara. So it is four feet here in our shallowest hole and our deepest hole is about 15 feet. And we are looking for a transition in structure right now using the aqua view. And so right now I'm on the bottom and I'm seeing quite a bit of weeds actually. And there's a tree there. I'll just try and spin it around so that I can see 
all the way around. That is so cool you can, that you can see the tree. Yep, so it is mostly just a weed, weedy, sandy bottom, muddy bottom. So we're gonna keep on going and see what there is at the other holes. Oh, we're at the end of this tree here. Still like a weedy looking bottom. More trees, there's a lot of logs on the ground. Here there's a, quite a bit less weeds. Now it's mostly sand here. There's like one little weed. So we drilled a bunch of holes, put the aqua view down and the uh, flasher and um, we found a, tr a place where there's trees and rocks. So we're gonna set the ice hut, ice, <laughs> ice hut up and uh, jig and see if we can find any fish. Okie dokie. So the hut is almost completely set up and uh, we decided that we would put a rod outside of the hut. We don't have any tip ups so we had to improvise with a jingle bell. <laughs> so when we get a fish it'll bounce and the jingle bell will go off and we'll come running out and grab the rod. We might set one out deeper too a little bit later. Right here we're right in shallow. Now let's get into the hut and do some jigging. Okay, so we are officially set up. I am starting off with a little teeny tiny miniature baby rattle bait. And Clara is using a spoon. We've got a dead stick here with a minnow. And uh, we're just jigging and hoping for the best. Aren't marking any fish yet, but looks good on the aqua view. So we'll see if we can coax them to coming in using our baits. Okay everybody, quick update. It has been a couple of hours and Clara and I really haven't seen anything. So we decided that we would go out to the middle of the lake over there um, and see what we can find. It should be deeper water, maybe different structure. Hopefully we can hook into some fish there. And right now I I'm just using the aqua view to check and see what's down there. It's quite a bit deeper on this side of the lake. How deep is it there? 23, 24, 23. Mm -hmm. Oh, come here, Eve. What? Fish. Okay, Come just here. a second. There's like two fish here. Just a second. I have to get this. They're chasing my bait. They're like moving towards my bait. Catch them. <gasps> oh, I just got bit. Come over here. Oh, I see it. Okay, wiggle it, wiggle it, and then drop it down. Now bring it above its head. Got him, got him, got him, yeah! got him! of the day guys and first fish on the lake on whoop, on the spoon let's unhook him and then get him back because he's too tiny to eat sadly okay okay i'm gonna have to take an instagram picture with him so this guy is obviously not what we're looking for he's a little bit too tiny for our liking so i'm gonna quickly let him go he's basically the size of the minnows we are using there he goes. It is officially time to head out. Uh, camera batteries are dying. It is freezing cold and um, uh, it is getting dark out. So we're going to pack up our stuff and then we will see you guys tomorrow back here on the ice. Welcome back to day two. Clara and I are already set up here on the ice. 
Uh, the first thing we did when we got here today was come back to our perch spot where we saw the perch on the aqua view and where we caught our two little mini perch. And uh, we got some new minnows from a different bait shot. We got uh, everything set up for perch fishing today. And uh, it looks like we're switching from rainbow mode to perch mode. But we're still going to set up like one uh, jingle bell rod maybe in shallow uh, where the rainbows uh, should be and maybe hook into one there. But we're pretty much in full-fledged perch mode. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it all the way. Claire, you got one! You got him? You got him? You got him? Do I got him? Do you got him? Real! Real! Yeah! First fish of the day for Woo! Clara. Little teeny tiny perch. But we out there, it's still a fish. It's still a fish. We Will know him? they're here. Clara's gonna hold him and then release him. Little fishy, he's too tiny to eat. Right there. Yeah, release him into my hole so I can catch him. <laughs> I see you bouncing it. He can't decide. Got him, got him, yes! Little guy again, but you know what? It's my first fish of the day. <laughs> Woo! Little baby guy. Let's get him back and catch some more. You know what? Even though they are giants, it's, they're still fun. Oh, 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 oh. I got him, I got him. This one's bigger, this one's bigger. <gasps> he's bigger. I don't know if he's giant, but he's bigger than the last one I caught. Woo! <laughs> well, I think he's actually smaller. Got him. Real, 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 real. Oh, he's a bigger one. He's a bigger one. Oh, got him. This feels like a bigger one, actually. Real, oh, real, real. Get him. this might be a bigger get him, one. Get him, get him. He's actually better than Rod. Yeah! Yes! Biggest perch of the day, baby. Can we and see him? of the trip. He might even be an eater one. <laughs> Let's go. I knew right away that it was gonna be bigger because of how he was eating it. <laughs> so it's starting to get cold. The wind's picking up. Clara is freezing. So we might bring the hut over here to warm us up. And we know there are fish here and there are some big ones mixed in with the little ones. So we're probably gonna set the hut up soon. Oh, I'm getting bit. Got him! Oh, yes, this feels like a better big. one. Oh my gosh, this he is a better big. one. Oh. oh, he hit it right as it got down. Oh, get this it. is definitely a better one. I don't know how big, but it it's actually fighting back. Where is he? I haven't seen him yet. Ooh. Oh, oh, it's a nice one. It's a nice is one. Is that even a? Oh, that's yeah. a nice one. Yeah. Yes. Biggest one so far that we have caught on the VMC jig and the live minnow. As soon as I dropped this thing down, he hit it so hard and I definitely knew it was a nice perch. <gasps> get it, got him. Yeah, 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 that's a big one. Why are you getting so many? Get got him, get him. him, get him. Got him. You get him? Yeah, Clara. On the spoon, Clara is hooked up. Oh, oh it's, it's a, a nicer, nicer one. one. Got him. Yeah! Oh, he looks good, he looks good. Yeah, this might be a nicer one. Clear, clear, it's wrapped around the transducer. Just real, I can see him. There we go. Real. Is it a nicer one? Oh, he's a nicer yes! one. Yes! I, I think oh, I got him. Oh, he's a big one. No, he's little. But it's still cool to catch one on the rattle bait, pink rattle bait, the same color as the spoon Clara was using earlier. He followed it from the very bottom all the way up to 10 feet. So he went up 13 feet to eat the rattlebait. I can't believe a fish this tiny wanted to eat something almost half of its size. <laughs> oh, is it a nice one? It uh, oh, oh, it's a nicer one. It's a nicer one, Clara. Get him. Get him, Clara. Get him. Of the day. Nice. Oh, fish on. Nice, nice, nice. Get a double ladder. Double ladder. Double ladder. Keep her, keep her, keep her. Double Get ladder. Double yeah, ladder. really, really. Yeah! Oh, double header for us. Clara's is uh, quite a bit bigger, I think. 
Let's let's see. Yeah, mine mine's way bigger than Clara's. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay, Clara, you put yours in the eater pile, and I'll release mine. Yes, it is. Get it, Got get him. it, get it, get it, real. Got him. This has got to be a big, get him, get him, get him. big fish, whatever it is, Whoa. because it is a ginormous minnow. Are you joking? It's not even that big of a perch. I got excited because this chub, this chub is literally half the size of this perch. It's like, come on, man. Well, it is time to eat. The time Claire and I have been waiting for all day long. She's got her oven that she got for Christmas. And uh, then I've got the knife to clean the fish. Shout out to Fowler for giving us the knife from Fowler's Makery and a Mischief. And uh, Jay, we bought some of your catch and cook fish batter we're gonna be using today. And now it is officially time to make some fish. So we forgot a cutting board, which is Clara's. No, it that wasn't. was what Clara's it's not supposed my fault. to get. And uh, so we're improvising and using my dad's camera bag. So dad needs some coffee, so I'm just gonna dump that in there. And I've got my nice warm water. And I'm gonna fill them up. Who? This one? Oh, we're getting it on this one. Well, my sister's getting it. Got him! Oh, this yeah. feels like a good one. It's a good one. Whatever it is. I think it's a big perch. Oh, that looks big. I think it's a big perch. On the on the chub. Oh! I gotta clean another one. Biggest one of the day. I'm putting the chub back down in case. So we're going to be frying them in vegetable oil. We put it in a honey um, honey jar. Just for traveling. Just for traveling. And so it's easier for us to squirt out. So right now I'm just dip putting them in and out of the batter, getting them completely covered Put a couple in at a time. Mm. Oh, I love the smell of fish cooking. It smells so good. Well, one guy should be done, because it looks like he's floating. So there's so many YouTubers I watch. Jay, uh, Clayton Schick. They all make cooking and cleaning on the ice look so easy. But let me tell you, it is not easy. We have forgot so many things. And uh, we are not very organized. As you can see, we got rods in the water still, but we're, we're having fun, right, Clara? Yep. Okay, we are officially done cooking. We got all the fish right here, and the past couple of days have been quite an adventure. We came out here expecting to have a trout catch and cook. We were expecting to catch some trout, but it ended up being a perch-like, surprisingly. There was even a couple groups of people that came as well over the last couple of days and we were talking to them and not a single person caught a trout. So we now know this is a perch-like. Let's try it. Ready? Oh my goodness. Mm. This is so yummy. It is worth it. The cold. Oh yeah, it was worth the cold. It was worth the drive. It was worth all of the effort. This fish is so yummy. If you ever get a chance, it was a grind for us. We didn't catch the species we thought we were going to catch. But you know what, we still had a great time. So if you do ever get the chance, go on to the Ontario Ministry of Natural Resources website Check out these back lakes, see which ones are stocked, um, and come out on the ice or in a boat. It is so much fun. I guarantee you, you will have a great time on an adventure like ours. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and our adventure. We had a great time filming it. 
If you did, please click the like button. And if you would like to see more content like this, please click the big red subscribe button. And of course, always remember to take a kid fishing. See you guys next time. Mmm, mmm, yummy, yummy, yummy. Mm.